It looks like Terminal Classic has been going up because the 1.2% tax burn code actually working. So this is off to see, but can we continue to go up? Let's try and figure that out in this video. Okay. Let's go. So only a small percentage of people are actually subscribed here to my channel. So if you want to help me reach 50,000 subscribers, just hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really helps the channel out. And you can always change your mind later. So keep your core market cap right now here and see the market cap is at $500 million. If you do remember yesterday, I think we were at 380 something million dollars, but now we're almost at 500 million. The volume did increase here by 363%. So $245 million here for the volume. Now, if you check out the price, we're basically at 0 0.000076. So yeah, so you had a massive pump. If you actually go here to trade view, you can see how, how big the pump actually was. We're back to these some highs. We hit here all the way here to base is 0.0008, but we got rejected and now we're back at 75 as you can see. So if we do measure this, the increase in total was 36%, but right now we're 30%. So that's awesome to see that, like I said, we did pump up eventually here for Terra Luna. So that's at least something good. Now, like I did say in my videos, basically what's gonna happen to Terra Classic is that we can see some like pumps here happening pretty soon. So pumps are going to happen because the developers are working on it. Because we have the Rebel team who's going to work on the code. Then because of we are going to see some pumps. The problem is we're not going to see some new highs. When I say new highs, we're not going to uh, break above like these prices here because we're in a bear market. So why is that super important? It's important because if Bitcoin goes down one day pretty soon here, then Terra will go down with Bitcoin. That is a massive possibility and something that you need to know. Because if you don't know, basically when Bitcoin will go down, you're not going to be ready to know that Terra Luna Classic will go down again with Bitcoin. Now, does it mean it will stay down? Of course not. Because I do believe that the community here is forming and the devs are heavily working on Terra Luna Classic. So because of that, I do believe in the long term, Terra Luna can continue to go up slowly. But... We're gonna wait we have to wait for the bull market so bull market and then we're gonna see some price reversals and just some awesome things happen here to terminal classic why did this happen what's gonna happen in the future if you go here to like the terrible twitters we can see something interesting we can see like yeah they've been talking about the pump they've been talking about people need to hold breaking news massive pump is coming so yeah we've been pumping pumping we pumped all the way like i said to uh, 0 0.008 which is amazing absolutely amazing so yeah all about the pumps breaking news we've been pumping like crazy but why did we pump i think it's because the thing i, I did tell you guys yesterday in my video and that is because of the 1.2 percent tax burn so because the 1.2 percent tax burn it's not implemented but it works so the developers wrote the, the new developers actually wrote a code and because that it should be able to work. Look at this now. So breaking news, Terra Station Wall is connected to Rebel 1 Testnet. You can now stake Luna Classic. So you can even stake now. So Terra Station Wall is connected to Rebel 1 Testnet. Feel good to stake again. So by the way, no taxes are charged in a delegation transaction. So there you go. So staking plus 1.2% tax burn. So because these guys are finally able to do something, we're going to see a massive move up here, even more for Terra Luna Classic. So, staking has been enabled. So, huge upcoming game and NFT sell for Luna Classics. Let's check, check this out. So, the upper of Luna Classics, will, uh, we will launch the NFT public sale and IDO on the official website in July. Our game will have in investment from the trade unions of Phil Philippines, South Korea, and mainland China. And then the cross-chain Luna Classic will drain them ecology and increase the liquidity of pledge i believe Luna classic will definitely be in the uh, rescue list because cz is a great blockchain leader oh interesting okay i put our game in our next route and help on the luna chain everyone take a look at meta elf land hopes to follow axie a crabs lead and lead the Further development for, of gamify and play to earn. So yeah, play to earn basically. As a new trend in NFT games with the built-in play to earn me mechanism, the interaction between players becomes more persistent. In addition, together with the players through the ideal platform, we will further develop the pet metaverse series of projects, which will be focused on our further development. Okay, like Pokemon. Something like Pokemon. That's interesting. Big things have been happening here. We did have like this 
This all happened yesterday. Oh, no, yesterday we had a discussion. Staking works now. 1.2% tax burn code has been completed. It should be able to work. Uh, yeah, there's big things. There you go. The code here. So full testnet is now up and operational. Two validators are currently working with one, the 1.2% 1 tax burn tax code. So yeah, big things. Just massive things happen here to Terra Classic. And they're just amazing to see because now finally we did make that reversal. You can check out this massive post here from Terra Watcher. And this is the same thing that Terra Luna, the main Twitter, did post here so saying here this month there are money 2.0 community self-organized millions of dollars of funding for dozens of developer teams doesn't seem like a dead project to me Terra has a lot more potential than most people realize so realistic optimism saying here many think there is a scam exchanges disagree luna listed on many prestigious exchanges wormhole guardians disagree they voted to partner with terra market disagrees it still gives terra a generous fdv of 2 billion so that's super interesting so basically what they're saying here is that there's a lot of people talking about that Terra Luna is a scam, like Terra 2.0 is going to be a scam, while the community is still working on the new Terra 2.0. So, because of this, there's still a lot of chance here that the new Terra Luna can continue to go up because we just have developers who are going to work on the code. We continue, to see many think Terra uh, can fund itself without VCs. Terra has a $600 million community pool, but of course it is illiquid. So, community just has to ensure that each dollar worth of Luna spent it creates at least one dollar of value so they have a spending from uh, from the community pool will depress luna price so that's super important so they don't really have vcs right now so what are vcs basically don't have they don't have like big investment firms to give them money so because they, they only have like a 600 million dollar community pool here and they need to really carefully use that money here to well do some awesome products here for terra luna so many think Terra has no unique value propositioning without UST, but consider no Luna was ever sold, making Luna one of few cryptos that is 100% not a security. So community controls all funding, no exclusive foundation guiding the project. Terra is uniquely decentralized. Okay, let's continue. So this year, many think Terra can compete with other chains, So, but dozens of developer teams working on Terra. So many top tier protocols to launch, including Prism Protocol, Nebula Protocol, and possibly a sig finance so plus cfl working on secret secret new projects now you have to understand for something right now uh terra luna exploded in price and reached like 40 billion market cap maybe more than 40 billion market cap because of the ust and ecosystem so because of their stable coin so now they don't really have a stable coin anymore but what they're going to do is they're going to start to use uh tether so usdt they're going to start to use usdt everything they've been doing with usd now will that cause a problem in the future maybe there's a, there's a chance that something like that could happen but they're all of course going to work on some new solutions new ways that terra luna can actually help the community saying here many think doquan will go to jail but terra was decentralized and global too much red tape to properly prosecute a case and doe wasn't a scammer anyway just overconfident Oh, okay, we have CNBC here. Check it out. So many think sentiment is too bad to ever recover. Sentiment is transitory. So once protocols start launching integrations with Cosmos, ecosystem begin, uh, price starts to recover, sentiment and activity will improve. So guys, that's going to be it here for this video. Hope we did enjoy it. Don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest in these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next video.